Also happening today, food, art, beach, side views. We're talking about the 42nd annual Mainsail Festival and it kicks off in a little over an hour. Sounds like a perfect way to spend a Sunday and that's where we find ABC Action News reporter Isabel Gonzalez live from Vinoy Park. Good morning, Isabel. Good morning, guys. We are talking more than 250 different artists in this long-standing St. Pete tradition, and I'm actually going to introduce you to one of them, April Davis. Good morning, Good April. Morning. How are you? I'm great. Okay, tell me a little bit about your art. I'm immediately drawn to this, this giant thing. Piece. Well, I do landscape paintings. I'm a, a painter. I paint in acrylic. Uh, I like to paint nature, cityscapes, and this is big piece of Lincoln Road down in South Beach, Miami. So do you have to do a little bit of research? I mean, do you sit there and just paint what you see or? Well, I went there and I took, I take hundreds of photos, kind of snap all around, then I come back to my studio, I put them, develop them and make like a collage and then paint it. Okay, so I see a lot of beach fronts. Uh, yep. Is that something you do I love, often? I'm, well, I'm so inspired by nature. Okay. Um, and so I love any type of water scene. I. Um, I think I'll do a series this summer of the Everglades and um, cityscapes, just anything outside. Wonderful. Okay, and you've done this for quite a while. You're no rookie to this festival. Tell me why it sticks out and why people should get out of their homes and come on down here. Well, first of all, it's a very well-known art festival throughout the country. They give like thousands and thousands of dollars in prize money, so they have they attract artists, top shelf artists all over the country. So it's great family. Um, kids activities. There is a lot to do for everybody and it's going to be a gorgeous day. Yeah, and it's actually free as well. So come on down here. It opens up at 10 and goes on from five. Hope to see you out here live in St. Pete. I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.